Have you ever heard of stories where kids supposedly disappear for a couple of days and wind up coming back with excuses that they think make sense but usually don't, especially to their worried parents? Well, this is a bit similar and different at the same time. Welcome back to the Cron Lab channel. In today's video, we will be looking at the story of the little boy who went missing for 13 years but was later found. Now the question on everyone's minds is usually where did he go? Was he abducted? Did he decide to go out with friends and that outing lasted 13 years? Trust me, I have thought of these questions and many more in my own head. So, in this video, we will be answering everyone's questions while we get to the bottom of this. Make sure to stick around to the end. Our missing boy's name is Julian Hernandez. Julian was reported missing by his mother on August 28, 2002, when he was five years old. According to the missing persons report filled by the Vestavia Hills, Alabama police, the father, Bobby Hernandez, and the mother lived in separate units at the Vestavia Park Apartments at the time of five-year-old Julian's disappearance but investigators say it is unclear whether the two were married when he vanished. Police say he was suspected of being abducted by a non-custodial parent, but they couldn't prove it. This started the rigmarole of events that came with searching for a missing person without any leads. This went on for 13 years, and the police investigators had no luck finding the missing kid or any clues. Even though Bobby Hernandez had been suspected initially, he couldn't be charged because of a lack of evidence. Lieutenant Johnny Evans of the Vestavia Hills Police Department said, I've been doing this for 25 years, and it's something I've never experienced before. The investigators spent tireless hours doing everything they could to try to find him, said Evans. Law enforcement followed up on many leads over the years as to Julian's whereabouts, from Florida to Canada, and each one was a dead end, police said, as none turned out to be fruitful until November 2015. L.T. Evans said, They received hundreds of leads over the years of where he might be from Florida to out of the country Canada. We followed up on every one of them, and they all just came to be a dead end until I got the call Monday. The Cleveland Division of the FBI said that it received a tip on October 30, 2015, that a person living in the city could be a missing child from Alabama. Three days later, authorities confirmed that the person was Julian Hernandez. It turns out that Bobby Hernandez was meant to be dropping his son at preschool when they both disappeared 13 years ago. LT Johnny Evans said. He was uh, doing well in school and was um, looking to go to college. And when he started the process, that's when things kind of started coming together that that wasn't who he was. And then they, the FBI office in Cleveland received a tip that he might be a missing person or uh, abducted person and uh, they followed up and was able to uh, positively identify him. <laughs> At this point, they found out that he was on the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children database. DA Brandon Falls told ABC News, My understanding is that he was applying to college, that there were some discrepancies in his social security number because both he and his dad we're living under false names. FBI agents in Ohio say Julian and his father were not using the real names. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, the Vestavia Hills Police Department, the FBI Violent Crime Task Force in Cleveland, Ohio, and the Birmingham Division of the FBI has been working on the case for the 13 years that Julian was missing and it finally brought forth fruit. Police said that Julian's mother was ecstatic that her son had been found. She was excited, relieved, and uh, just, um, 
you know, express, I can't express it in words. LT Johnny Evans said she had not given up, but she hadn't heard anything in a while. It was just great for me to be able to tell the mother that all this time he has been alive and he is doing well. A representative for the child's mother said in a statement to NBC, affiliate WVTM in Birmingham, our family was overjoyed this week to locate Julian and learn that he is safe. We want to thank everyone for their prayers and support during Julian's disappearance. FBI Special Agent Vicki Anderson tells news outlets that apparently, Julian Hernandez was living in Cleveland with his father, Bobby Hernandez, for the past 13 years. Force worked this matter over the weekend and, in fact, confirmed that it is Julian Hernandez. The FBI has not released details on how he was located, but he was found at a house in Cleveland, and his father, Bobby Hernandez, was taken into custody. A woman and two children were living in the same home with Bobby Hernandez and his son on Cleveland's west side. The relationship between them was unclear to investigators. Bobby Hernandez was allegedly able to live with his abducted son for so long undetected because he was living under the alias Jonathan Mangina. DA Brandon Falls told ABC News, It's my understanding that the name they were using was an actual person. So this was not completely a made-up name, but it was someone who was deceased as of 2002 here in Alabama. According to court documents, Bobby Hernandez was arrested in Cuyahoga County, Ohio. He was taken into custody and charged with tampering with records for allegedly using false information to get an Ohio identification card in 2012. He will also face charges in Jefferson County, Alabama, concerning his son's abduction, including interference with custody, that could send him to prison for one to ten years. The Jefferson County District Attorney's Office said an arrest warrant was issued for Bobby Hernandez for the felony offense of interference with custody. The District Attorney's Office said the warrant concerns the taking of Julian Hernandez from the lawful custody of his mother on August 28, 2002, from Vestavia Hills, Alabama, and the continuing interference with custody until the 18th birthday of Julian. On November 24, 2015, Bobby Hernandez was indicted on six counts of kidnapping, four counts of interference with custody, one count of forgery or uttering, five counts of fifth-degree felony forgery, five counts of first-degree misdemeanor forgery, and 11 counts of tampering with records. On March 14, he pleaded guilty to two counts of kidnapping, two counts of interference with custody, one count of forgery, and 10 counts of tampering with records. He was being held on a $250,000 bond in Cleveland for tampering with records charges. During his trial, his attorney, Ralph DiFranco, asked that Bobby receive probation or a minimum prison term when he was sentenced as Bobby had been a model father to Julian, a straight-a student, and an athlete. Ralph DiFranco said, I think he saw it coming someday. He just didn't know when or where. I was quite surprised when, you know, he was apprehended, but I think, you know, he saw it coming someday. He just didn't know when or where. Julian's mother issued a statement through her California attorney, Gloria Allred, saying, During my darkest moments, I considered suicide. I wanted to die. I understand now that only God got me through. Julian's maternal grandmother asked for a sentence as long as our suffering has been, and described Bobby as an angry, controlling, and vengeful person. Her statement read, Bobby Hernandez kidnapped him because he wanted to get even with Julian's mother for leaving him. This is not the sign of a good father. When asked about his father, Julian asked the judge to keep his father out of prison, saying he pushed him to succeed in school, and it is the reason why he gets good grades and plans on attending college. Julian said, what else to say other than not to send my father to jail. I think that he's done a lot of good in our time here in Cleveland. And yes, growing up without my mother was painful at times, but taking my father away from me now is, just increases the pain from that. Taking him from me now is just doing the same thing all over again to me. Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Court, Judge Cassandra Collier-Williams sentenced Bobby Hernandez on April 13, 2016, to serve four years in prison, 
followed by five years of supervised release. An Alabama prosecutor, Sean Allen, said authorities would meet with Julian's relatives after his sentencing to determine whether to extradite Bobby to Jefferson County, where he could also face prison time for interfering with custody. When asked what was next for Julian, LT Johnny Evans said, he is 18. He is an adult, so it's kind of up to him now as to whether he wants to come back. We can't go get him and bring him back because he was a juvenile. I believe that answers all the questions you could have had at the beginning of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Hit us up in the comment section and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.